Shalom Ashpuka, the kingdom of Yahuwah is within you. Um, a few months ago, we had on our Shabbat class, and as I was teaching in the Shabbat class, the Ruach came upon me to look each one of my family members in their eyes and tell them the kingdom of Yahuwah is within you. And I told each and every one of them, the kingdom of Yahuwah is within you. And they was looking at me as if they didn't know what is he talking about. And so I went on to explain to them what that meant. And once again, this is something the Most High wants us to know. The kingdom of Yahuwah is within you. The kingdom is within some people and they have no idea. Most people, when they hear the kingdom of Yahuwah, they don't have an understanding what the kingdom of Yahuwah is within you means because this is something most people don't teach, don't go into, and it means nothing to them. All right, this word kingdom, we have to understand what is this this kingdom? Many people understand the prayer that we pray, you know, his kingdom come, his will be done. We understand we're looking for a kingdom to come, and this is what kingdom is a, a country state or territory ruled by a king or queen now this is uh the definition here of kingdom but uh under the synonyms we have country land this is a land people think automatic <clears throat> they think heaven this is land his kingdom coming to the earth to land nation state sovereign state State. Now, we have to look at this sovereign state because this sovereign state is saying something. A sovereign state is a state with a defined territory that administers its own government. So its own rules. And this is the most highest kingdom. His kingdom, the kingdom to come, it will be his rules and no other rule, ruler will be over it. No other government over it. And subject and is not subject to or dependent on another power so right now in all the world we are subject to and we depend on another power but know and understand the most high is about to change this our people are so ignorant it's it's not funny it's a serious matter and i i tell them your ignorance will get you killed Knowledge, wisdom is knowledge, is the stability of our times. And your ignorance will get you killed. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. And we, we, why am I saying this? Our people making these foolish statements. People leaving Babylon to go to another place and, and they're going to find rulership there also. You don't understand what's going on. You don't understand the most. How about to break these kingdoms up? You don't understand scripture. And when you stay in the wrong place, you will be you will be caught in the crossfire. Now, the Aubrey word for this uh, kingdom is the H4467, Mamlaka. And Mamlaka, of course, kingdom, dominion reign there is sovereignty the most high kingdom will be sovereignty this is what the other nations fear they fear their kingdom being brought down and another kingdom rising but most people don't understand how is this going to happen how is this going to take place and so they're believing lies not understand how one kingdom will fall and the other kingdom rises matthew 633 first scripture we should seek first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you we have to seek the kingdom the kingdom of the most high you're not going to get this kingdom and let me say this this title is not referring to everyone that's listening to this message make sure you understand that the most high is speaking to those that obey and follow his voice obey and do what he commands. So we have to seek first the kingdom of the most high. And this kingdom will be in us. With us. Daniel 5.21 Then he was driven from the sons of men. 
His heart was made like the beast, and his dwelling was like the wild donkeys. They fed him with grass like oxen, and his body was wet from the dew of heaven, till he knew that the Most High, this is what I want to get to, it's the Most High that rules in the kingdom of men. The Most High will be the ruler of this kingdom, and he appoints over it whoever he chooses and he he will appoint Yahusha to rule over the land in this kingdom but he is the ruler people don't understand this setup he is the ruler he chooses Yahusha to rule over the kingdom and this is how he has it set up but he's still the king he will be the king over all Daniel 4 25 okay we see the same echoing here until you know the most is the most high that rules over the kingdom of men and gives it to whoever he chooses the most high gives this kingdom to whoever he chooses he can give the kingdom to whoever he chooses and this person will be the king understand the order Louis, the priest. Louis is the priesthood. Louis will, this is one of the jobs of Yahushua to come back to cleanse the sons of Louis, as stated in Malachi, to cleanse the sons of Louis that Yahshua may bring an offering to Louis. Louis is the priesthood. Yahushua will be the king ruling over this kingdom. And the Most High, of course, is king of all. Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings, the Most High of Heaven will set up a king. Here we go. Which shall never be destroyed. It's the Most High that's going to set up this kingdom. This kingdom will never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. This kingdom, he could have left it to other kingdoms. And right now, you know, the kingdom... We have all these different kingdoms. Of course, Esau is ruling all the earth right now. But we have all these other different kingdoms. And all of these kingdoms and kings will fall. And will not be left to another people, the kingdom that's coming. It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. You understand this? This kingdom shall stand forever. Of his reign there shall be no end. Daniel 7 and 27. Then the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people. This kingdom, here we go. People don't teach this. Our people walking in ignorance. Our people don't understand this. So we see this kingdom that's coming. It will be given to the people. What people? Here we go with the remnant. Here we go with the remnant. The, the Kaddish of the Most High. Remember those that keep his word. All of his word. Not just some of it. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. All will, all will serve and obey him. Matthew 5 and 34, it says, But I say to you, do not swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is Yahuwah's throne. So this, I'm bringing this out so you can understand. This is the most high dominion. Sh Shemayim is the most high dominion. That's, this is his dominion. It's, this is what this is telling us. It's his throne. And no one is going there to rule or sit on his throne no one has the authority to rule and sit on his throne he has his throne and he's going to appoint Yahushua his throne which will be this this kingdom to come Luke 17 20 and 21 now when he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of the most high will come he was asked when is this, when is this kingdom coming he's been talking about it and they want to know, when is this kingdom coming? And he answered them and said, The kingdom of Yahuwah does not come with observation. You don't look for this kingdom. 
and wait for this kingdom? This is what this is saying. You do not look or wait for this kingdom. I'm looking with my eyes. That's observation. We're looking for and waiting for it to come down. You don't look for this kingdom. Nor will you say, see, here, here it is. See, there, there it is. For indeed the kingdom of Yahuwah is within you. Okay, what does this mean? Here we go. Because our people don't understand. And for the righteous that's doing, listening, obeying his voice, you will understand the kingdom was within you and you didn't even know it. I'm talking to those that's within the borders. They listen, they came out, and they are making preparations. And those outside the borders, they in the middle of their preparation of coming out, making their exodus. The kingdom is within you, meaning the Most High has equipped you, has given you everything you need to get to this kingdom. This is what this means. You are positioned. You are in position to finish the course and to get this kingdom. It's within you. You have the know-how. You know how this kingdom will come. You know how to obtain. You know how to be a part of one of the remnant. This is what it means. The kingdom is within you. Those that don't know this, those that refuse, those rebels, they refuse to leave the land of their captivity, the kingdom is not within them. Those camps that's teaching people the same teaching over and over, the kingdom is not in them. They don't even talk about this kingdom. Except foolish things, some of the camps, they speak foolish things about this kingdom, not understanding it because they are wicked men. Mark 10 and 15. Or surely I say to you, Whoever does not receive the kingdom of the Most High as a little child will by no means enter it. Our people, we're not humble. To be a child, you have to be humble. Our people are stiff-necked, arrogant, and proud. And this, you will not see, you will not receive the kingdom if you don't come as a little child, if you don't humble yourself. Mark 4 and 11. And he said to them, to you, it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of Yahuwah. So these, this group is to this group that's given us. He's given to this group the mystery of the king. It's a mystery. And our people don't understand this mystery. But those who are on the outside, all things come in parables. You understand what he's saying? To those on the outside. Things will be ambiguous to you. You will not understand many things. And so when he speaks to you, he's not going to speak to you straight. You will read the scriptures, give the scripture to these people straight, and they won't understand it. So he speaks to them in parables. But there is a mystery to come. The Most High gave me a word on this. He told me to reveal to the people the mystery to come. I've been doing it, but... He said, give it to them plainly, and that's what's going to come soon. You will hear the, this mystery to come, and most people will miss. They're not going to understand. This mystery will catch them by surprise. But there is a mystery to come, and the people will not understand it. Luke 9 and 62, for Yahushua said to him, No one, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the most high what is he talking about many of our people came out of babylon came within the borders now their hand was on the plow and they was moving forward and then they went back into babylon and see that's looking back those people are not fit for the kingdom and they are not going to enter into the kingdom they're looking back remember lot's wife Mark 1 and 15, and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of Yahuwah is at hand. This kingdom is at hand. Now is the time to repent and believe the Bashar of the Most High. And if you don't repent and believe the Bashar, keep his word, do everything he commands us to do, you will miss this kingdom to come. And it will be a shame to miss this kingdom to come. Shalom.